Welcome back, this is Korok, and we are about to play Would You Rather, or either, or however you want to call it. It's a cool little game you can play, and it answers you questions. So here we go, the first question. Make out with your cousin, or wear cut-off shorts your whole life, never taking them off. I wouldn't want to make out with any of my cousins. That's just disturbing. Uh, <sighs> Yep. Um, 66, 693,285 people would rather make out with their cousin. Alright. Not me. Y'all go ahead and do all that making out you want. I, I just stay by myself. Yeah. Yeah, no. Alright, would you rather be known as a drug dealer or be known as a liar? They're both bad. Hmm. Now, I don't condone selling drugs because I won't ever do it, but there is some lies that you could say that would actually destroy your life more than, here, here's a couple Tylenol. So I'd rather sell pills than be the liar. And I chose the same as the other people. Alright, would you rather eat fruit or eat vegetables? Well, this is a tricky question because I do love broccoli. And also when it comes to fruits, I love, you know, apples and melons and all those things. So if I had to choose which one I want to eat more, I'd have to go with fruits. Just because I love watermelon. Watermelon is yummy as hell. Alright. Next question is, would you rather be known for interrupting Taylor Swift or, yeah, interrupting Taylor Swift or be known for smacking Rihanna? Interrupting Taylor. I would rather interrupt Taylor because I actually like Rihanna. Rihanna's a hot Taylor's woman. So, yeah. Rather, rather, don't get me wrong, I know a lot of you are going to be angry because there's a lot of people that like Taylor Swift, but Taylor Swift's music is not my type of music. I don't like the whole, <laughs> oh, he left me. I, I don't care for that kind of shit. I'm sorry. We all have had that happen. No need to talk about it. No need to sing about it. We're Rihanna. Rihanna's got some damn good tunes. So, I'd go with Rihanna. A lot of people went with Taylor Swift, so I'm... Sorry, I just don't see the big fuss about her. Plus, I can already tell you she's one of them girls that you would meet in school. Like if I, like if I went to school with her and I met her, she would have just shoved me off. She's just one of those type of women. And so I would have no need to ever, you know, like her. So where Rihanna would have no problem saying hi to me. Where Taylor Swift would have looked at me and been like, oh my God, he's fucking ugly. Rihanna would have actually looked at me and been like, hey, big boy, how you doing? So there is a difference. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Alright, would you rather toilet paper a house or egg a house? Depends on the person. If it's somebody who I hate with a passion, I'm going to fuck up their house with the eggs until they cry. But if it's somebody just doing a prank, I would do toilet paper. But with this question, I'm going to think you mean really mess up someone you don't like. So I would definitely egg their damn house. And the reason I would egg their house is if there's somebody who I just don't like. I really don't like. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, next question. Would you rather be stabbed in the stomach ten times or be shot in both kneecaps? What the hell kind of dumb question is this? Well, I've been stabbed, what, eight times? And shot once. So, I would probably... Depends on where you're stabbing me in the stomach. Because there's certain places you can stab a person in the stomach and it won't affect them. But shoot me in the kneecaps, you literally paralyze me for life, pretty much. So, I probably want to get stabbed. I know a lot of people will choose the kneecaps, but if the person is stabbing you at the point where you won't die with the knife, then the stabbing. But if the shooting in the kneecaps, you will be paralyzed. You won't lose your legs. There is no saving you. This is Tough Teddy said to Kitty. You'll never walk again. So, 
Just saying, all you people that did that, you ain't gonna walk if you get shot in the kneecaps with a gun. Your 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 time for walking's ended. Would you rather get severe frostbite or be severely burned? This is a question I've been asked before, but not by this. It was a thing for school when I was a young boy, and uh, they asked, "Would you rather be burned or you know have you know frostbite?" Truth is told, or truth is told, truth be told, I would rather have frostbite because you can warm that up and get rid of it. Burns, you can't. You can have the skin surgery stuff, but you're still going to always know that person was burned. So I'd rather have the frostbite because I would just put my hands on an electric blanket, under my belly, whatever, to keep my hands warm. I would even lay on my damn hands and say, here, go. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I would rather get the frostbite. Because, you know, the burns, when you burn, it, it, they leave scars and people will always treat you like shit. Trust me, I have a friend who's burned and people treat him like crap. So they mess with me and then they didn't treat him like crap. But that's beside the point. We're not going on that subject. Would you rather wear the same thing every day or never wear the same clothes twice? I wear the same thing every day. I mean, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's sick. That is sick. But... Um, when you're poorish, you kind of can't wear clothes every day because, number one, you can't afford the laundry detergent when it's, you know, skyrocketed prices. And also, you, some places, the electric bills are so high that you can't afford to freaking keep paying a lot of money because you're a damn electric bill. So, with that said, I have no problem wearing clothes once or twice in a row. Third, fourth time, you're, you're kind of pushing it with me. You're kind of pushing it with me. So, guess I'm not, you know, high maintenance like a lot of these people over here. The 753,177, the high maintenance people. I guess I'm not like them. So, guess I have better standards in my opinion. Because I guarantee you if I saw their bills and shit, it's probably outrageous. Catch your best male friend sleeping with your mom. Would you rather catch your best friend? Best male friend sleeping with your mom, or catch your best male friend sleeping with your sister. Well, I've already got a guy friend. He's with my sister, so that one's taken. You try to sleep with my mom, I'm going to kill you. And when I get done killing you, you're going to have a horrible death. Um, I won't say exactly what I would do with you, because this is one on YouTube, and I don't want people freaking out. But let's just say, it's demented. It's like Hannibal Lecter kind of shit. So, don't touch my mom. Alright, moving on. You could sleep with the sister because two of my sisters I don't give a fuck about. So, <laughs> you can fuck them all you want. But the one younger sister, you mess with her, I'm going to fucking kill you. So, yeah. Moving on. Alright, would you rather be a sports star or be a celebrity? A celebrated academic. I've always wanted to be a sports star for a reason. I know a lot of people going over here to celebrate. But I always wanted to be a sports star. When I was younger, I was in the football. And I mean, I was literally in the football. I was knocking fuckers over right and left. I was the center. When I was in middle school, nobody could get past me. I slaughtered them. That we even did a special move that I've used on a lot of my football stuff. To where when the person says hike, we all drop. And the whole team pushes forward and falls their ass right over. It was amazing. It was awesome. We got so many teams pissed off by doing that. So, yeah. And I came up with that trick. My coach wanted me to come up with a play. And because we were losing a match, then we won that match by 28 points. But anyway, moving on to the next question. Would you rather... Live in a giant shoe or live in a giant peach? Number one, you're asking a question here about these two. Um, living in a giant shoe, depending on how bad you stink, will get bad. But living in a giant peach, it's still bad because that smell every day would start messing with you. And your smell and your sense of smell would start messing up. So I'd have to choose the shoe. And the reason I would have to choose a shoe, just to verify this, is if you're in a giant peach and that's all you're smelling most of the time is peaches, you're going to lose the smell. You're gonna, your smell is going to be all messed up. You're going to smell tuna and be like, that peach smells fishy, it's weird. 
where if it's a shoe, I'm going to smell leather. And then when it airs out, nothing. Just like normal air. So I'd rather be the shoe. And I think that's all we can ask right now, right? Let's... Yeah, that's all we can answer right now. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe down below. This is a little bit of would you rather or, or either, however you want to call it. It's an amazing little game. You can play it online. You see it up here, HGTV, either.io. So, yeah, if you like it, awesome. I hope you did. Hit that like button and subscribe. And I will catch you next time, everybody. This is Korok. I'm out. Y'all go have. Right now, Babylon,